Good morning and welcome to Algebra 1. Today we're going to finish looking at the packet and introduce what you have to do next for more practice. Uh, real quick, the ones on top, they are the reasons we were talking about every time we talk about what makes it a function. So if we're looking at a graph, the reason I'm looking for is it passes the vertical line test. That means if I draw a vertical line straight up and down anywhere on the graph, it only crosses the graph once each time. You don't have to write all that, just write it passes the vertical line test. For a mapping, those were the big ovals which are connected with arrows. I said what we're looking for is that each input has only one arrow that goes from it to the opposite output. So we're looking for one arrow per input. That's what we're looking for. For the coordinates as well as the table of values, it's the same answer I'm looking for as each other. If the x values repeat, they give you the same y values. If the x values don't repeat, it's a function no matter what. But again, you're saying, what makes it a function? It's a function if x doesn't repeat, or if it does, and it gets the same y value. Another way of saying that is every input has only one output. I'd accept that for both of those. Now, for this graph over here, you're supposed to basically look at it and tell me the answers. There's no math to do here. You're looking at the graph and you're telling me what the solutions would be. So the first question is, what is g of 5? Here's what that means. And I'll come in closer to the graph for you. g of 5. That means when the input is 5, when x is 5, what is the output? The answer is right here, at 2. And again, you have the worksheet in front of you, I think, but maybe I'll turn the lights off and help out. All right. So, I'm in shadow and it's green, but that's okay. When the input is 5, the output is 2. The answer is just 2. That's all I'm looking for. The answer is 2. There's no math. It's using the graph. Okay? The next one. Okay. okay, when we have g of negative 3, what it means is when x is negative 3, what is y? When x is negative 3, the y value is down here, which is also at a level of negative 3. So the answer is negative 3. What is g of 1? Well, when the input is 1, when the x is 1, the y value, the output is at 2. So the answer is 2. And what is g of 0? Well, you can see that this is crossing through the origin. So at an x value of 0, it's also a y value of 0. So the answer is 0. Now, these two questions ask it a little differently. It's not saying when x is 2. It's saying what is x when y is 2. Well, this is where y is 2, right here, okay? So what is x when y is 2? Well, it starts here at an x value of 1, and it goes all the way to 3, and again at 5. So the answer is anything from 1 through 3 and also 5. That's a little harder, but you have to read it carefully. This one says g of x equals 8. So what value of x will get you a y value of 8. Well, 8 is all the way up here. Now, the graph only hits 8 right there, and that's an x value of 6. That was all you had to do on this part of the worksheet. It wasn't any calculations. It was just figuring out how to use the graph to see inputs and outputs. Okay. So, attached to the classroom announcement, I also included an additional practice worksheet, which is this skill, where we're trying to figure out what g of 3 is, or what g of x equals 5 would get you, just like I just explained. So, do that worksheet in its entirety, and send it to me, please, no later than tomorrow morning at 7, and that way you'll get the additional homework credit, and you'll get the practice we need. If you want a Google Meet, let me know. If you want additional help, let me know, because that's pretty
pretty much what I'm doing now is you watch the video and you tell me if you want help. If you're not doing the work of watching the videos, we gotta have conversations where I have to call you and we have to just force a one-on-one. -on -one. Let's just try to keep up with the work. And then if you want help, just let me know and I'll be happy to do so. Any questions, email me. Otherwise, get to work on the worksheet and have a great day.